Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make this uh, view settings in Rhino. It's very simple. It's very helpful for post-production. It has neat lines, sh neat uh, sharp shadows, and plain colored surfaces and shades. Also very helpful with the uh, top view if you want it for site plans with shadows. So let's get right into it. First thing you type options. And view, expand it, uh, stand on display modes. So there's artistic and there's arctic. Don't mix between them. We want arctic. Make a copy out of that. Rename it as you wish. I'm going to name it tutorial. Sorry. Okay. And we want to stand on that view because we want to see it change as we are working on the settings to make sure we're going on the right track. Right options again. Okay. So first thing we want to change, we want to change the color and material usage, we want to have that as object to color. And under visibility, we want to turn off all of these because this is not going to be a view that we're going to be working on. Uh, this is just for uh, exporting a view or an image or a PDF. If you want to be working on this view, maybe you could want to have some or even all of these options turned on because uh, it has like the curves that you're drawing and uh, clipping planes and so on. Lighting scheme. Lighting method, we want that one to be the scene lighting. Okay, now, after that, we want to go to under objects. We want to select surfaces. And edge thickness, we want to give that a thickness of one. And the object color, we wanted a single color for all the edges. Okay, now for the shadows, this is the setting that I have used for the shadow that uh, you've seen in the beginning of the video. The first one is at maximum. Second one is in the middle, third one is at lowest, fourth one is also lowest, fifth one is at maximum, and the sixth is also at lowest. And that is it for this tutorial. This is how you edit such a view. Uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you hopefully in the next video.